But the legal process is still moving forward, even as Hobbs has been sworn in. So how could that work? Is Lake hoping to have that swearing in rescinded? Joining me now is Alex Colladin, an election law attorney and newly elected Arizona state representative. His firm submitted a brief in support of Carrie Lake on behalf of a voter. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. All right, so what exactly is Carrie Lake or the voter you represent hoping for at this point as a practical matter, or is this thing done? Well, what they're hoping for as a practical matter is that the appellate courts will reverse the decision of the trial court. Uh, and that's very typical with cases like this. They'll go up on appeal, and obviously if the trial court got it wrong, the courts of appeal will say so. But the bottom line is that a, it's a long shot, a real long shot in this case. You know that in the context of no evidence that there was any voter fraud, et cetera. And I read your, your brief, and your brief's point is there shouldn't have to be fraud per se. You think that there was enough mistakes in effect in the election uh, such that the election was run in a way uh, such that it crosses the line, uh, the legal line. I, I get that that's the argument, but you know that that's a long shot uh, legal argument. And it, and it seems to me that knowing that that's a, a long shot, knowing that the, what the judge has already found, knowing that Katie Hobbs has been now sworn in, it does seem that this is kind of a moot point, no? Well, there, there has never been any sort of time bar on the resolution of election challenges on appeal that requires them to get resolved before the swearing in. And I, I think you hit the nail right on the head in terms of how the trial court got it wrong. Uh, the trial court got it wrong in terms of requiring proof of fraud or some ill intent. That's simply not what Arizona law requires. The only the only uh, thing that matters is, you know, were there errors? Were they significant enough that they could have changed the result or at least make the, the result uncertain? I think every voter in Maricopa County knows that there were uh, incredibly pervasive errors on Election Day. That, that kind of came up and slapped us all in the face. Um, if you look at the uh, percentage of Republican voters and conservative independent voters on Election Day, you compare those to voters that vote on other days, uh, there's not much question that if even a fraction of these voters were deterred from voting because they didn't want to wait three-hour-long lines at the but, polls or anything like that, then that could have been a very different result. But I think not, the legal requirements there are met. Yeah, but you're not suggesting that long lines uh, should lead to new elections, right? Because that would mean that just about every big city in America where there are long lines in every major election, that anyone who was waiting on that line can call for a new election and make the same arguments you made, right? Which is, they knew this was going to happen. This happens every time, et cetera. We should have a revote. You know that's not the way the system works, right? Well, I would, I would love to hear your evidence for, for this assertion that uh, it's a common occurrence in cities across America to have two, three-hour lines really? in order to put <clears throat> well, your ballot in the tabulator. Well, I cover elections year after year after year, and I can tell you every single election, every single one, there are claims in the big cities of huge lines. This year, for example, in Nevada, there was a legal challenge. Oh, there were lines. There were hours and hours lines. It happens in every single election. It's not a good thing. It's just a reality, and the notion that somehow there's going to be a new vote, as it, you're calling it, for, it, it, it's it doesn't hard to even believe that you think that that you actually think that that might happen. That's well, because you know, obviously, that seems so far fetched that I wonder whether it becomes more political in nature than it is legal. You get the final word. Well, sure. One one thing I would say is I, I'm not aware of it ever being judicially determined in Nevada that there were three hour lines to vote. I'd also say it certainly doesn't happen here. Uh, it, this is an extremely abnormal thing uh, to have a three hour line to cash sure. your ballot. I vote the person on election day every election and typically in and out in 30 minutes. Uh, and when you have an error like this that's been known about for two years at least, that should have been corrected and that disproportionately impacted Ms. Lake's voters, I think you've got a decent claim but, there. But, and again, I, I wasn't persuaded by your argument that it disproportionately impacted her voters. I got your point about the fact that Donald Trump and Carrie Lake were warning against early voting, et cetera, and therefore your argument was more people are voting on Election Day. The problem, of course, is that in Maricopa County, Carrie Lake actually lost by more than she did in the rest of the state. Uh, N not, not in terms of election day voters. Election day voters mm -hmm. broke very, very strongly for this league. Yeah, but, but again, but in terms of Maricopa as a whole, 
uh, Katie Hobbs won there by 790,000 to 752,000 votes, which was a greater disparity. You're, you're, you're conflating two things and confusing your audience. You're conflating overall vote totals with election day voters. Yeah. So, you know, Miss Lake won election day voters in Maricopa County very, very heavily. For but, election day voters, all right, but, to but you, but even in your brief, in your brief, yeah. you suggested it could have swayed it by maybe 4,000 votes to Kerry Lake. That's not enough to get her the win. That's why I don't that's, get this whole thing. It's it's over. I, 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 don't, I don't believe that's what my associate said. I, th I, I, I think would read there it again. was a range. You had a yeah. range of 2,000 for Hobbs to 4,000 for Lake. Did I read that incorrectly? I believe the number on the upside for Lake is a little bit larger. I do uh, agree that there is a there is a possibility that Ms. Hobbs could have picked up votes. That's why yeah. the law doesn't require right. that it be enough to change the result, simply right. to cast the result into right. doubt. We can never know for sure. Right. All right. Well, look, I, I appreciate the discussion. I, I think it's interesting, and I appreciate your time. Alex Culloden, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.